Have you ever wondered if the souls of people stay with us, even after they pass away? Maybe they're still right beside us, watching over us in ways we can't see. It's a question many would brush off. But one story is making people reconsider especially because it involves none other than Prince William and a deeply personal experience he claims to have had. Prince William shared something that surprised everyone. He said he saw his grandmother's spirit, yes, the late queen herself right in the heart of an old English castle. He wasn't alone in a quiet room, and he wasn't dreaming. It was a moment that felt entirely real to him. According to Prince William, it happened in a way that made him question everything he thought he knew about life and death. It was a typical evening at the castle, quiet and peaceful as always. But as he walked down one of the dimly lit corridors, he felt an unexpected chill, a presence that filled the air. The room seemed to shift, almost as if time itself slowed down. And then, in the faintest light, he saw her, his grandmother, standing with a calm, comforting presence, just as he remembered her. She wasn't there in a physical sense, but he felt her presence so vividly it left no doubt in his mind. But it was what she did next that left him stunned. At that moment, she looked at him with the same warmth and understanding she'd shown him all his life. She didn't speak, but he felt that she was there to remind him of the legacy she left behind and the responsibility he now carries. Her presence was reassuring, almost as if she were giving him a silent blessing. William, a young historian known for his fascination with England's forgotten monarchs, had traveled to the castle on a crisp autumn evening, intent on uncovering secrets buried beneath centuries of dust and stone. The locals had spun tales of hauntings, of apparitions wandering the dim, candlelit corridors, but he dismissed most of them as folklore meant to entertain. Still, the night was cold, the castle walls heavy with a silence that seemed to carry the weight of countless whispered stories. Shadows clung to corners, stretching across the stone like ghostly hands reaching from the past. As midnight crept in, William wandered through the castle's winding hallways, finally finding himself before the heavy wooden doors of the grand bedchamber, Queen Mary's room. The chill in the air was almost unnatural here, like stepping from a mild autumn night into the heart of winter. This was the very room where, centuries before, tragedy had struck. A young girl, entrusted with the Queen's protection, had fallen victim to her grim vision, perishing in the fire she had both foreseen and, through a tragic twist of fate, accidentally caused. It was said that the Queen herself had survived, but her loyal guardian had not. Some claimed that the girl's soul had never left the room, forever bound by the sorrow and betrayal of her untimely death. William lingered by the bed, running his fingers over the thick velvet curtains that, despite their opulence, carried a somber air. Stories spoke of those very curtains going up in flames, taking the life of a girl who had loved and served her queen with unwavering devotion. He could almost feel her presence, an invisible weight in the air, an unspoken sorrow that hung about the room. And then, as if the past itself had decided to reveal its secrets, the air thickened, and the candles that lined the walls flickered violently. A dense cold enveloped him, pressing against his chest. William's eyes widened as he caught sight of something in the dim glow, a figure slowly materializing near the bed. She stood tall and graceful, cloaked in a gown of deep emerald that seemed woven from the shadows themselves, her crown of jewels glinting faintly in the candlelight. She was unmistakably regal, her face hauntingly familiar, as though he had seen her a thousand times in old portraits. This was Queen Mary, her spirit lingering in the castle long after her death, still bound to the place she had once ruled. William felt rooted to the spot, transfixed by the apparition. Her form was ethereal, shifting in and out of the shadows like a memory brought to life. Her gaze was distant, her expression haunted as if the weight of the years had only deepened her sorrow. It was clear that this was no ordinary ghost. 
The queen's presence carried an almost tangible sadness, as though she were reliving the tragedy that had forever scarred her reign. She looked not toward William, but toward the bed, her eyes fixed on some invisible specter beside her, something only she could see. In the wavering light, he noticed another figure, a faint silhouette, much smaller and less defined, as though she were a memory hidden within a memory. The smaller figure, though faint, was unmistakably the young girl who had perished in this very room. Her head was bowed, her posture loyal yet sorrowful, an eternal attendant by her queen's side. Although William could not see her face, he could sense the quiet reverence in her stance, the unwavering devotion that had persisted beyond death. The bond between queen and servant, forged in life, seemed unbroken even in death, as though the two were bound by a shared fate, forever trapped in this cold, forgotten chamber. As the ghostly queen lingered, her hand raised slightly, and William could almost feel the weight of her silent plea. The air was thick with an unspoken yearning, a desire not for release, but for remembrance. It was as though she needed her story to be known, for the sacrifice of the young girl to be honored, for their memory to endure beyond the cold stone walls of the castle. Her presence was a quiet, solemn reminder of a legacy tainted by tragedy, a call from the past that demanded acknowledgement. As the figures began to fade, their forms dissolving into the night, the room grew colder still, and an overwhelming sense of loss washed over William. The vision had left an imprint on him, as though he had been entrusted with a secret too precious and painful to remain buried. The castle walls, silent witnesses to centuries of history, seemed to hold their breath as the two spirits faded into shadow, leaving the room once more draped in silence. William left the chamber, feeling the weight of the past pressing upon him. He understood now that the stories of the queen and her loyal servant were more than just legends. They were fragments of lives, echoes of love and loss that refused to fade. He resolved to tell their story, to keep their memory alive, to ensure that they would not be forgotten. As he walked through the darkened halls, he sensed a subtle warmth following him, as though two spirits, finally recognized, had found a fleeting moment of peace in his acknowledgement. We want to say a big thank you for watching our video and for sharing your Catholic faith with us. Your support means a lot to our team. We hope the messages in the video inspire you and help you grow stronger in your faith journey. We wish you many blessings and hope you stay connected to the love and teachings of the Catholic tradition.